Hello everyone. Let's deal with this problem right away. We are looking for the value of um, x. We have um okay, here we have 5. Then we have another square root. We have 5 in there. We have another square root. We have 5. The whole of this is to the power of x and it is equal to 5. Now, to deal with this, let's work with what we have in the square root, right? So we are having 5 to the power of 1 over 2 because of the root is under 1 square root sign. Multiply by 5 to the power. This is under 2 square root sign, so it should be 1 over 4. It should be 1 over 4, right? And then multiply by the next one is under 3 square root sign. And it's going to be 5 to the power of 1 over 8. Then the whole of this is now to the power of x. And it is equal to 5. Now what do I do? I'm going to obey um, one of the rules of indices. And it says, if you have the same base, pick one of them and add the powers. So I'm going to pick 5 as the base, and I will add 1 over 2, 1 over 4, and 1 over 8. But remember that this is still to the power of x, which is equal to 5. Now, what do I do from here? We have 5 again. Then... The LCM of the power is 8. Then 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 1 is 2. Plus 8 divided by 4 is 2. Sorry, it's um, supposed to be 4 over here. Because 8 divided by 2 is 4 times 1 is 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2 times 1 is 2. Plus 8 by 8 is 1 times 1 is 1 and then we still have this to the power of x which is equal to 5 interesting right now we have 5 to the power of 4 plus 2 plus 3 is going to give 7 and this 7 will be over 8 but remember that we still have this power of x which is going to be equal to 5 right Okay, so if this is the case, we normally open the bracket here. So we have um, 5. To open the bracket, the two powers will multiply. So we have 7x over 8. And this is equal to 5. But mind you, 5 is the same as 5 to the power of 1. Now we have the same basis. And if the basis are the same, we will equate the powers, right? Meaning that um, 7x over 8 should be equal to 1. And if that is the case, we can cross multiply so that 7x will be equal to um, 8. And we can equally divide both sides by the coefficient of 7 of x, which is 7. Then divide this by 7. This goes into this. And then we have x to be equal to 8 over 7. So this is the value of x that is expected to satisfy this particular equation, which is um, square root of 5, square root of 5, then we have square root of 5 to the power of x equal to 5. Okay, so you can just confirm this yourself. And um, let us know in the comment section if you think it's satisfied or it um, won't satisfy. Thank you for watching and um, share to people you think will, not, um, will need this video. Thank you for always being there.